Hey YouTube and thank you for watching Junkworks DIY Garage. Well, I'm getting ready to do a few things on the tractor here and to do that I need to take the hood off of it. So I thought I'd kind of show you maybe how it's supposed to come off. Right there, there is an 11 16 bolt. And then I think under the hood, well my hood's already kind of up because I'm messing with stuff, but right here there's a lever you pull and that moves that little thing there which in turn goes into the little thing there so that's how you pop your hood so to speak and as you can see no battery in here i didn't show taking the battery out because this is all not original and the battery didn't even have any kind of a hold down as usual when i get batteries but right there and on the other side there's a bolt and i think mine is going to come off just with those now originally i'm not sure but it almost looks like they welded it all together i don't know why exactly i think it used to this part of it used to pop off i'm not positive on that but when i get it off i'll have a better look and they cut all that out for the pto stuff so there is actually a piece underneath there so i'm gonna have to pull it forward i'm hoping i don't have to pull lines off to get this off it almost looks like it. Doggone it. Well, we'll see. It appears that these hoses unhook from here somehow. And I'm hoping there is some quick disconnects. I saw some quick disconnects. Right here is one. That's a type of quick disconnect. I'm not seeing one. Does that go to the big one there? Yeah, that big one goes to the very bottom of the tank down there. So, uh, I'm going to have to mess with this. And this whole setup is not going to be exactly the same as your tractor, because this does not go with this tractor. But, figured I'd just kind of bring you along. I'm filming, because I'm working on my old tractor. Apparently, the smaller, I have to deal with dogs. The smaller hose does quick disconnect here. These appear to be similar to like your air hoses where you pull on it, I think. I am not positive to be honest. And I don't know how much pressure is in here, so I'm hoping I don't get bathed in oil. Yeah, a little bit, not too bad though. But the big one is definitely hooked down on the bottom down there. So I got that little one over and down like I you saw, so that's no problem. But the one right there is hooked to the bottom of the tank. So the fluid all comes back through and into that. So if I unhook that, all the fluid's gonna come out. But I'm thinking if I'm hoping, if I unhook it at this end, I can hopefully not lose too much, wind that up and just kind of stick it down back in the tank. And that should, for all intents and purposes, get that out of the way. So let's see if we make a mess. Well, that didn't go great. I'm going to look at the radiator, see if uh, what I need to do to make it may be better. And uh, the biggest reason why I took this off is this right here, which will be another video all on its own. 
but it's still leaking gas pretty good and I think I need to take this gas tank off of here and uh, try and figure out what I can do if I have to you can buy whole new ones I may end up doing that I don't know the parts on this thing are that expensive surprisingly so uh, anyhow I'm gonna keep moving forward I got the hood off that was a bit of a chore so I think I'm gonna call that a video just basically of what am I doing on the tractor today and this was it this was a beautiful day today and uh, so I decided to work outside on my tractor all right if you like videos like this please rate comment and subscribe thanks for watching junkworks DIY garage where I'm proud to say I'm a jack of all and obviously master of none you all have a good one